This is last of the broiler feed that we bought. It was 2,000 pounds, all gone. And we have another 1,000 pounds coming today. All right, good morning, guys. We're just getting up this morning. Got to start our farm chores. Everyone needs to get fed before we get fed. A good day today because we have family coming over, familia. Familia is coming over from California, and it's always a good day when when they come and, and see our new land. They've never seen it before. All right, we have our family here, my nephews, my sister. And today we gotta move all of our egg layers. We have an egg layers over there, these egg layers. Plus we gotta move our meat chickens, we gotta feed pigs. We have these other meat chickens over here. And my nephews are gonna help us. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, since the chickens are not in the coop, it's easier just to let them out. We'll just let them out and then we'll move this, take this fence down and then we'll move it over and then move their feet over there and because we haven't fed them yet, they will move over to where their feed's at and that's what we'll put the fence around them. Good job guys. See, we'll just let the chickens out. They won't go too far. We're gonna start right over here. So we're just kind of moving over. The trick is don't get them tangled, but that's hard. <laughs> It's inevitable that this stuff gets tangled. I got this one. Okay, so we're gonna go four out this way. So come, come this way a little bit. Ooh. Make it so the door faces the house. Keep going. All right, right there. There we go. Pour some food on the ground over there. Just a little bit. There you go, Penelope. That's it. Yay! You guys gotta stay in there with the chickens. So we moved these guys out yesterday. We split them up. We have 40 chickens in this one, and we need to split them up 20 and 20 since we have this free chicken coop just to give them a little bit more room. Get up higher so we can put this up. There we go. Do I get in? Sure, however you wanna do it. You gotta count them. How many is that? Four? All right, good job, man. Five. <laughs> there we go. Fourteen. One more. I got one. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then we, they were here. And then I've been moving them uh, last night, and then we're gonna move them again. And when you pull it, you gotta do it slow. Yeah. You gotta do it slow because you don't want to run them over. Hey, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, that's it. There you go. That scared me. <laughs> All right, that's it. Pull it out. There we go. Right. Now we're on to the pigs. The pigs are the hungriest animal because they will let you know. Did we have the cows here? Yeah, the cows were here when we first when we got first them. Alright, Porter, we're all going to put a cup of feed. So right here. Like that much? Yep. That's it. Just put it over. Hey, big. Hey, big. Here, let's move this away from the fence. There you go. Pigs are probably easier than chickens, I think. I mean, they've been in this spot for maybe half a week. How you doing, man? Good. They have plenty of grass still, look at this. It's all overgrown right here and they're clearing a spot around the trees. All right, before we go any further, we need to say hi to my mom, hi to Nana. Say hi to Nana. Hi, Nana. And, and Grandma, and Grandma Lupe, hi, Grandma Sarah. Grandma. <laughs> all right, now we gotta move the meat chickens, the big guys. Get 
them pushing, man. Got it? Go, 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 go. Alright, one more. Right here. Okay, you can do Open it all the way. I'm getting out because it gets me. Deborah's gonna take care of the flock here. Right. Now we gotta move the turkeys. We got a turkey out. Take off. Just pause. Oh. All right. You got him. Good job, baby. Yeah. A couple weeks ago, we put them in a sheep netting, and it has bigger squares, so they were just going right through it. But this is pig netting. It's a little bit shorter, and the squares are, are smaller. Sure, I guess they could fly over it, but don't tell them that. Good job, Van. Can you hold this? you guys are going. No, it's. It's called a hollyberry tree, but it's also called a Christmas tree, but it's not a pine Christmas tree. We have a lot more grass here for them. There, they pretty much ate it down pretty good. Come on! Yes! Keep going! It's alright, it's alright, keep going! Right. Keep going. You got it! There we go. Yeah. I got the goose in there. I got go. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Go. Whoa. You got to roll this? I got Let's yeah, turn yeah. the fence on first and then we do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can do it. Come on, yep. baby. Just push it straight back. I did it. I know. There we go. You got it. Put it in the middle. I'm right in the middle. So now we're gonna charge this thing. What do you think? You think they're gonna fly out? With it being so low? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Comment below your answer in the comment section if you think they're gonna fly out. We're giving the goose some water here too. But they just get it all muddy. We're going to leave these guys here. We're not going to move these guys just yet. These are their older egg layers. And we're just going to feed them. Where's Bernice at? Bernice. There. There's Bernice right there. Bernice. How many scoops, Penelope? Um, four. It's not ready yet, but maybe in a couple days. What you got there, Van? Um, I got, I don't know. I harvest peas. Yeah, but I got some tomatoes. Is it Swiss chard? Fell? This watermelon fell. No! Oh, my watermelon. No, baby! The watermelon's not ready. It's not ready. But it fell. <laughs> See, that's why I didn't like this idea of trellising them, but... Well, look, there's two more. I know, kind of at the last minute, I decided to put them here. What about these, man? Ugh. Back to tractor supply. These guys have been super helpful this year for me and our farm to help us grow. Just allowing us to have feed delivered here. All right, that's Derek, manager here at Tractor Supply. He's been super helpful for me. But this is only a thousand pounds of feed this time, not 2,000 like I've been getting all year. So a thousand pounds of feed. This is for our last broiler chickens of the year. My gate also does not come off.
That's good. I'm trying to beat the rain right now. I gotta bring an extra tarp just in case that happens. And then you gotta tie it down just in case. Without a tractor this year, I figured out three ways to unload a 2,000 pound tote. This is a thousand. One way is using a pallet jack. Concrete is also important, because without that, I couldn't use the pallet jack. Our barn here will hoist up a thousand pounds with my electric winch. And then today we're gonna show you a third way how to unload a thousand pound tote of feed. I did buy some turkey grower feed because we're running out of turkey feed over there. So hopefully this will be enough for them. It's only like a few bags. All right, we have our helpers here. We have to shovel all this feed now, guys. What do you think about that? This is gonna take like about two hours. Yeah. You think so? So it's important not to spill any feed. We have to get that feed into those barrels. When you shovel, you're just gonna Dig it in like this, see that? Yeah. And then you're gonna bring it over here and empty it in the barrel. What time is it, Dad? 6.50? 6.48. All right, start. All right, so that took six minutes to fill up one barrel. Good job, guys. My sister's helping out now. Since we have concrete and the pallet jack, we can just roll the barrels to it. Every last drop. Yeah, we gotta put the lids. We gotta put these away where they belong. All right, Van, you're doing it. You're farming, Van. What do you think about that? Good. <laughs> Zeke. All right. Okay. You want to come over here with it? Pour it. All right. There you go. Right there, so <laughs> well, Lara's gonna go for the watermelon. Oh, she can't get it. Curious to see how the turkeys are doing. See if they flew over our little chicken netting. It's toward the evening after dinner, so we're just kind of wrangling everybody up here, doing our night chores. Oh, Good, job, here. Good job, Van. <laughs> we have one out. Don't scare him, don't scare him. Be gentle. They're still here. Good job, Penelope. Okay. All right, guys, good job today. Good job. Boom, boom, Penelope. Couldn't have done it without you guys, thank you. <laughs> 